Okay, okay, I've put off a big clean for long enough. Today I'm taking on all these upstairs rooms, the kids' bathroom that's getting pretty gnarly, some grocery restocking, and a little update to the girls' closet. I did some new organization, added some things in there. So stick around, like this video before we jump in. It helps my channel out so much. If you like cleaning motivation, hit subscribe. I also have a lot of room makeover videos and I've got something coming up. I know you've been waiting really patiently for our master bedroom transformation and thank you. I'm down to the very last part. I'm just waiting on something to ship out. So that will be coming soon. If you wanna see the progress though, you can head over to Instagram. I like to show the process kind of as I'm working on it there. So you can get updates and see some of the things that I've already got going on in the room. So I am starting here today in the playroom because I need the girls to hang out in here and play while I am cleaning the rest of the house. So that's usually a question I get. What are the girls doing? Well, this is what they'll be doing today is playing with some slime. For this table and the toys in the playroom, I usually use my Dapple Kids Cleaner. I will link that and all of the other items that I use to clean down below as well as some things from around the house. Those links will all be in the description for you, but if you can't find something, leave me a comment and I will look around for you. Today I'm really excited. I got to try out this new little Hoover cordless vacuum. This video is not sponsored by them. We actually bought a shark cordless vacuum back in December. So it's been interesting comparing these and I've got to say this one seems to have a lot more power. Just watch for the vacuum lines later in the video. Here's what the girls are playing while I clean up the other rooms. This $1 super watery slime, Target dollar section, fantastic. And then they can play with all of their little plastic friends. worth of things that the girls took to their bed that they don't normally sleep with. They always get to pick a book to take with them at night, so here's the stack of books they came up with. Oh, and a couple more animals.
break from today's video to show you some work I did earlier in the week on the girls' closet. I added a few shelves and some organization in here so that both of the girls are able to access all of their clothes. This is something I mentioned earlier in the year wanting to build, but I decided that I could make it all happen in their closet. And over here are the things that I just took out of the closet. So I've got some things that I picked up for organizing, some old organizing things, shirt, sure, like the rest of the clothes to go through. This is all of their clothes here. This is one of the bars that I put in today. And I'm noticing like there is a lot of extra space between the clothes out here and the wall. Like I could move the bar back in three more inches and gain space back here in the middle. I was able to move the bar from here back to here. This does look goofy. I will paint this white eventually. How much space I gained back in the walkway. Now the clothes are tucked away and we can actually take advantage of this corner if we needed to. So boom. <laughs> mini closet update reveal. Here's the after of everything. This has been such a game changer for our routine with the girls. They are so great about coming in here and getting ready now. Little tour. I've got the books and the diapers in the same place over here. This is like sweatshirts and extra space if we need it and I ended up putting some shoes that will fit into eventually up here. I'll try to link everything that I used down below. These are from the container store. It's got all of their dresses and most of their clothing over here. Half of it's Emerson, half of it's Charlie. And then we've got their stuff split up over here. So Emerson pants, Charlie pants, pajamas, and then Emerson and Charlie shirts. The great part about this is that since everything's at their level, they get to help me with putting everything away now. So I'm really happy that they get to be involved in that now. Emerson's been doing this for a while, but she's doing a great job of teaching Charlie how to roll up her clothes and how to hang everything up. So I am really happy with the progress in the closet. Back to the cleaning video. <laughs> downstairs for a minute. We just had a little bit of a lunch break. I ate my lunch up really quickly. So I can now clean up the kitchen while the girls finish their lunch because we have a, I guess this is turning into a get it all done with me because we have a grocery pickup to do after lunchtime. I want the kitchen all cleaned up. There's a little bit going on here. I want the kitchen all cleaned up so when we come to unpack the groceries, restock stuff, it's easier to clean stuff out. So this has nothing to do with the kitchen, but I thought I would talk a little bit why I love organizing. I feel like having things organized for me, it just is something that is so important to my mental health. Having big messes or even lots of little messes around the house really ties into my depression and anxiety. Speaking for myself, having depression can make it really hard to want to clean up. So it's kind of like a vicious cycle. Ever since we moved into our house a few years ago, before I started making these videos, I've been trying to make sure that everything in our house has a place. And because I've taken the time to go through these closets and the rooms that you see, it makes cleaning up so much easier. All of the day-to-day -day cleaning up is so much quicker because I've taken the time to organize things. I tend to be a person that picks up as I go throughout the day and I like things to be kind of tidied up at the end of the day, but sometimes I get into a slump and you see me do these bigger cleaning videos. But even when that's the case, because I took the time to organize everything, it's still pretty simple to pick stuff up and put it back in the place that it has. Anyways, that's just one of the reasons that cleaning and organizing is important to me and why I like making these videos for you guys. I've asked this before, but it's been a while. Comment down below and let me know if you are someone who likes to clean up as you go, clean up through the week, or leave it all for one big Saturday morning clean, or do you just like watching satisfying cleaning videos and that's why you're here, because that's cool too.
just wanted to update you, still loving my little Roborock friend. He runs every night at about 10.20, and this is what he picks up. This might be two nights worth, sometimes I forget, but I try to empty it out every morning. And he just runs on his own downstairs, has his own little map. Sometimes freaks me out because I'm like, what's happening downstairs? Then I remember. But I still love this Roborock. It is so nice to come downstairs and there's no dog hair on the floor. <laughs> All right, the kitchen's all cleaned and the dining room's all cleaned up. I'm gonna take a break right now and go get the groceries when we get home. We'll unload those, work on the living room. Yes, I will, I'll change your diaper. Work on this area, the living room, and then the bathroom upstairs, it really needs it. Then I've got time, I really wanna do the floors and the carpet with the carpet cleaner upstairs. Here's a somewhat hot topic. What is your grocery store go to? Where do you shop? I have recently started shopping more at Aldi. Got a little life hack for you. I keep this basket in my car and instead of having to bag everything at the store, I load everything in my car into the basket, bring the basket inside saves a lot of trips. If you have like a laundry basket, that's fantastic. I'm kind of a newcomer to Aldi. I feel like the meat section is really hit or miss. So a lot of times I'll do like our pantry and fridge restock with some Aldi stuff and then we'll hit up Kroger later in the week. Today I really just needed some fruits and some things for the girls lunches. Not a huge grocery haul. Let me know if that's something that you're interested in seeing in the future, but just restocking a few items that we use pretty often. along to the living room I did a little switcheroo on the rugs earlier in the week I love that this one's still fluffy and cozy but it's slightly different vibe if you want to link to this rug or any of the rugs in our house almost all of them are from boutique rugs I love the rugs and they have the best prices I feel like I always forget to mention this but I have a standing discount code for 60% off anything on their website all of their rugs they have such a variety so I'll put that here Nunez 60 check out the link almost all the rugs in our house but also so many others
wanted to point out this new piece added to the mantle all thanks to you guys I can't even like my mind is still blown I can't even describe how much this means to me and my family all I can say is thank you for the likes the comments the conversations I just truly appreciate you guys this room needs a power clean Got some crazy toothpaste action we're gonna put you on a fast time lapse for some toothpaste tonight. <laughs> Okay, this is pretty much it outside of needing to fold some laundry and put the now clean dishes away I'm gonna just snap to this stuff being clean because it all needs to go out in the garage or different places downstairs Which makes it kind of hard to film because literally it's just me carrying things down the stairs. So That is a view that I have not seen in like I said probably months or so whatever I started this bedroom video. Oh my goodness so clean This guy's hanging out until I can figure out where he's going. So we're just gonna forget that he's there Looks like the girls have made a train set oh that's a long one gonna end this video with a quick swiffer of the floors downstairs i did not get to everything that i wanted to clean today but that is the reality so we're gonna have to save some things for next time thank you guys so much for watching if you're new i'd love to have you subscribe i've got again the bedroom makeover coming up as soon as my items get here nick has the flooring for the basement coming in this week so that's exciting leave a comment down below and thank you guys so much for watching as always happy cleaning Bye.